the sun set over the peaceful valleys of Xylor, casting a golden hue on the sprawling cities and lush forests. The Xylorians, a race of intelligent beings with a deep respect for nature and harmony, went about their evening routines unaware of the impending doom. Suddenly the tranquil sky was torn apart by the roar of engines and the blinding light of descending ships. The Kraith had arrived. Unlike the Xylorians, the Kraith were a warlike race, driven by conquest and domination. Their massive dark ships hovered ominously over Xylor's major cities, deploying troops with deadly precision. Panic spread quickly among the Xylorians as they tried to comprehend the scale of the invasion. Their modest defensive forces were no match for the highly advanced and ruthless Kraith soldiers. In the capital city of Xylor Prime, Counselor Varen, the leader of the Xylorians, watched in horror from his command center. Reports of destruction and casualties flooded in, painting a grim picture. Varen knew that if they didn't act swiftly, their entire civilization could be wiped out. Activate the planetary shield, he ordered, his voice steady despite the chaos around him. We need to buy ourselves some time. As the shimmering energy field enveloped the planet, slowing the crate's advance, Varen turned to his advisors. We must seek help beyond our world. There is no other option. But who would aid us in our hour of need? Asked Aaron, his trusted advisor. Varen's eyes narrowed as he recalled ancient stories of a distant world, a planet whose inhabitants were known for their indomitable spirit and unparalleled military acumen. We will send a distress signal to Earth, he declared. If the legends are true, the humans may be our only hope. Within minutes, a coded message was transmitted across the vast expanse of space, carrying a plea for assistance to a planet many light years away. The fate of Xylor now rested on the hope that humanity would answer the call. Far away, on the blue planet of Earth, the message from Xylor was received with a mixture of curiosity and urgency. The United Earth government, always vigilant for new opportunities and threats, quickly convened a meeting of its top leaders and military strategists. President Carter, a seasoned leader known for his decisive actions, reviewed the distress signal with a furrowed brow. The Xylorians are under attack by a powerful enemy, he said, addressing the gathered officials. They seek our help, offering knowledge about the galaxy in return. General Mitchell, a decorated military strategist, leaned forward. This could be an invaluable alliance. The Xylorians' understanding of the galaxy combined with our military prowess could be a game-changer. But we need to assess the risk. What do we know about these Kraith? Dr. Lang, the chief scientist, pulled up a holographic display. The Kraith are a formidable force, technologically advanced and highly aggressive. If we engage them, we must be prepared for a significant conflict. After a lengthy debate, the decision was made. Earth's leaders agreed to assist the Xylorians, recognizing the potential benefits of such an alliance. A fleet of ships was prepared, and a team of top military advisors and diplomats was assembled. Captain Ryan Blake, a renowned tactician, was chosen to lead the mission. Known for his calm demeanor and sharp mind, Blake had a reputation for turning the tide in seemingly hopeless situations. As he boarded the lead ship, the UNSF Endeavor, he felt the weight of the mission on his shoulders. Failure was not an option. The journey to Xylor was swift, thanks to the latest advancements in faster-than-light travel. As the fleet emerged from hyperspace, the crew was greeted by the sight of Xylor's shimmering planetary shield, barely holding back the Kraith onslaught. Blake and his team were quickly transported to the surface, where they were met by Counselor Varan and a group of Xylorian officials. The relief in Varan's eyes was palpable. Thank you for coming, he said, his voice filled with gratitude. Our people are suffering. We need your expertise to defend our home. Blake nodded, taking in the situation. We'll do everything we can to help. First, we need to understand the capabilities of your forces and the tactics of the Kraith. Then we can formulate a plan. The days that followed were intense. Blake and his team worked around the clock, analyzing the Xylorian defenses and training their soldiers in human military tactics. Despite the initial challenges, the Xylorians proved to be quick learners, their natural intelligence and adaptability shining through. As the bond between humans and Xylorians grew stronger, so did their resolve. They were no longer two separate races, but a united force, ready to stand against the Kraith invasion. The stage was set for a battle that would determine the fate of Xylor and the future of their new alliance. The tension in the air was palpable as the humans and Xylorians prepared for their first joint operation. The training had gone well, but now it was time to put theory into practice. The Kraith had established several strongholds across Xylor, and the goal was to strike a decisive blow at their command center. Captain Ryan Blake stood in the strategy room with Counselor Varen and the key military leaders from both sides. A holographic map displayed the Kraith positions and their formidable defenses. 
Our objective is to disrupt their command and control, Blake began. If we can sever their communication lines, we'll disorient their troops and create an opening for a larger offensive. Varen nodded, his face set with determination. We've identified their main command center in the eastern quadrant. It's heavily fortified, but with your tactics, I believe we can penetrate their defenses. General Mitchell, who had joined the mission for this critical phase, outlined the plan. We'll use a multi-pronged approach. Xylorian forces will create a diversion on the western front, drawing the Kraith's attention. Meanwhile, our strike team will infiltrate from the east, using the terrain to our advantage. The Xylorian soldiers, now clad in combined human Xylorian armor, stood ready. Their faces reflected a mix of apprehension and resolve. For many, this would be their first taste of true combat, but they had faith in their human allies. At dawn, the operation commenced. Xylorian units launched an aggressive assault on the Western Front, their energy weapons lighting up the sky. The Kraith, caught off guard, responded with their usual ferocity, diverting significant resources to repel the attack. Meanwhile, Blake led the strike team through the dense forest on the eastern approach. The team moved silently, utilizing stealth techniques taught by the humans. The closer they got to the Kraith command center, the more intense the fighting became. As they reached the perimeter, Blake signaled for a halt. We're close, he whispered. Prepare for a coordinated breach. The team set explosive charges on the outer defenses, and with a synchronized detonation, they blasted a hole in the Kraith's fortifications. What followed was a fierce and chaotic battle. The Kraith, though surprised, fought back with relentless aggression. Blake's team pushed forward, using their advanced tactics and superior training to outmaneuver the enemy. The Xylorians, inspired by their human counterparts, fought with newfound courage and skill. Amidst the chaos, Blake spotted the Kraith commander, a towering figure directing the enemy forces. There, he shouted to his team. Take him out and we cut the head off the snake. With precision and teamwork, they fought their way to the command center. Blake, flanked by Varen and a squad of elite soldiers, engaged the Kraith commander in a brutal confrontation. The battle was intense, but the combined efforts of humans and Xylorians proved overwhelming. The commander fell, and with him the Kraith's command structure crumbled. As the remaining Kraith forces retreated in disarray, cheers erupted from the Xylorian ranks. They had achieved a significant victory, but they knew the war was far from over. This battle had shown them the power of unity and cooperation. Back in the strategy room, Blake and Varen reviewed the operation. This is just the beginning, Blake said. We've struck a major blow, but the Kraith will regroup. We need to be ready for their next move. Varen agreed, a look of determination in his eyes. With your help, we will be. Together, we can defend our home and perhaps even turn the tide of this war. The alliance between humans and Xylorians had been forged in the heat of battle, and both sides knew that their combined strength would be crucial in the days to come. The success of the initial strike against the Kraith command center bolstered the spirits of both the humans and the Xylorians. The two races worked tirelessly to consolidate their gains and prepare for the inevitable counterattack. Training sessions intensified, and the sharing of technology and strategies deepened the bond between them. Captain Ryan Blake and Counselor Varen stood side by side in the command center, examining the latest intelligence reports. The Kraith are regrouping, Varen noted. Our scouts report increased activity around their remaining strongholds. Blake nodded. They'll hit back hard. We need to be ready to defend our key positions while also planning our next move. General Mitchell proposed a series of defensive upgrades to Xylorian cities. We should fortify our urban areas with Earth-based technology, turrets, energy shields, and automated defense systems. It will give us a significant edge. As the preparations continued, Blake took the opportunity to speak directly with the Xylorian troops. He could see the fear and determination in their eyes. You've shown incredible bravery, he told them. Remember, we fight not just for survival, but for a future where our races stand united. Trust in your training and in each other. Meanwhile, Xylorian engineers worked closely with human scientists to integrate advanced human technology into their infrastructure. The collaboration was seamless, with both sides learning from each other. Dr. Lang marveled at the Xylorians' ingenuity. Their understanding of energy manipulation is beyond anything we've seen. Combined with our technology, we can create defenses that the Kraith won't expect. The day of the counterattack arrived. Kraith ships appeared on the horizon, their dark silhouettes a stark contrast against the vibrant Xylorian landscape. The planet's defenses, now bolstered by human technology, sprang to life. Energy shields shimmered, and turrets locked onto their targets. The Kraith assault was brutal. They unleashed a barrage of firepower, testing the strength of the new defenses. But the combined human Xylorian technology held firm. 
automated turrets picked off enemy fighters, and energy shields absorbed and redirected the incoming fire. In the thick of the battle, Blake coordinated the defense from the command center. Focus fire on the lead ships, he ordered. We need to disrupt their formation. Baron, standing beside him, relayed commands to the Xylorian forces. Ground units, hold your positions. Reinforcements are on the way. On the front lines, Xylorian soldiers fought valiantly alongside human marines. The training paid off as they executed maneuvers with precision and coordination. Xylorian energy weapons complemented the ballistic firepower of the humans, creating a formidable combined force. Amidst the chaos, Blake received an urgent message from a scout team. Sir, we've identified a weakness in their assault pattern. If we can exploit it, we might force a retreat. Blake acted quickly. Deploy a strike team to that location. Hit them hard and fast. The strike team, a mix of human and Xylorian soldiers, moved swiftly. They targeted the vulnerable point in the Kraith formation, unleashing a devastating attack that threw the enemy into disarray. The Kraith, unable to maintain their assault, began to pull back. As the Kraith forces retreated, cheers erupted from the defenders. They had not only held their ground, but had also inflicted significant damage on the enemy. In the aftermath, Blake and Varen surveyed the battlefield. The cost had been high, but the victory was undeniable. We've shown the Kraith that we won't be easily defeated, Blake said, but we must remain vigilant. They will come again. Varen agreed. This alliance has proven its worth. Together, we are stronger than they could ever have anticipated. We must continue to build on this foundation and prepare for the battles ahead. The humans and Xylorians, now united by blood and sacrifice, knew that their journey was far from over. But with each victory, they grew more confident in their ability to stand against the Kraith and protect their shared future. The success of the defensive battle solidified the alliance between humans and Xylorians. The Kraith, though temporarily repelled, were a constant threat, and both races knew they needed to strike back before the enemy could regroup. In the midst of these preparations, an unexpected discovery altered their course. Deep within the archives of Xylor, ancient records hinted at the existence of a hidden cache of advanced technology, potentially powerful enough to turn the tide of the war. The Kraith had been seeking this technology, but the exact location had remained a mystery. Until now. Captain Ryan Blake, Counselor Varen, and Dr. Lang gathered in the command center, poring over the newly unearthed data. These coordinates lead to the Wraith Mountains, Varen explained, pointing to a map. It's a remote and treacherous region. If the legends are true, the technology hidden there could give us a decisive advantage. Blake agreed. We need to get there before the Kraith do. This could be the key to our victory. A team was quickly assembled, comprising the best soldiers and scientists from both Earth and Xylor. The journey to the Wraith Mountains was fraught with danger, the rugged terrain and hostile wildlife posing significant challenges. But the team pressed on, driven by the urgency of their mission. As they approached the coordinates, the landscape became increasingly foreboding. The mountains loomed high, shrouded in mist and shadow. The entrance to the hidden chamber was concealed behind a massive rock face, accessible only through a series of complex puzzles and mechanisms. Dr. Lang, with the help of Xylorian scholars, deciphered the ancient codes. It's a combination of engineering and linguistics, he said, marveling at the ingenuity of the design. The Xylorians of old were remarkable. After hours of meticulous work, the entrance finally revealed itself. The team ventured inside, their lights piercing the darkness. The chamber was vast, filled with relics of an advanced civilization. In the center, a large console hummed with latent energy. Varen approached the console, his eyes wide with awe. This is it, he whispered, the power source of our ancestors. If we can reactivate it, we'll have access to technology that surpasses anything the Kraith possess. Dr. Lang and his team began working on the console, deciphering its controls and reactivating its systems. As the machinery roared to life, a series of holographic displays illuminated the chamber, showcasing schematics for advanced weapons, shields, and energy sources. However, their success did not go unnoticed. The Kraith, having monitored Xylorian communications, had followed the team's trail. As the humans and Xylorians marveled at their discovery, alarms blared, signaling the approach of enemy forces. Blake quickly took command. We need to hold this position until we can secure the technology. Prepare for an assault. The team fortified the chamber's entrance, setting up defensive positions and booby traps. The Kraith attack was swift and fierce, their soldiers pouring into the cavern with relentless aggression. The battle was intense. Xylorian energy weapons and human ballistics combined to create a formidable defense. Blake and Varen fought side by side, 
rallying their troops and repelling wave after wave of Kraith soldiers. Despite the overwhelming odds, their determination and the strategic use of the newly activated technology kept the enemy at bay. In the midst of the chaos, Dr. Lang managed to download the crucial data onto portable drives. We've got what we need, he shouted over the din of battle, but we can't hold out much longer, Blake called for a strategic retreat. Fall back. We need to get this data to our main base. Move out. The team fought their way out of the chamber, carrying the precious technology with them. As they emerged into the open air, the Kraith forces continued their pursuit, but the defenders' superior tactics and newfound technology gave them the edge they needed to escape. Back at the main base, the data was immediately analyzed and integrated into their systems. The advanced technology promised to revolutionize their defenses and offensive capabilities. Blake stood with Varen watching as their engineers began the upgrades. This technology will change the course of the war, he said, but we must remain vigilant. The Kraith won't give up easily. Varen nodded. Together, we've uncovered a powerful legacy. Now, we must use it wisely to protect our future and ensure the safety of both our races. The discovery had not only provided them with new tools, but had also strengthened their resolve. The alliance between humans and Xylorians was now armed with the knowledge and power of their ancestors, ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead. The integration of the ancient technology into their defenses and weaponry marked a turning point in the war against the Kraith. Human and Xylorian engineers worked tirelessly to adapt and deploy the new advancements. Energy shields were enhanced, weapons became more powerful, and new defensive structures were erected around key strategic points. Captain Ryan Blake and Counselor Varen stood together, observing the progress. This is impressive, Blake remarked. With these upgrades, our chances of holding off the Kraith have significantly improved. Varen nodded. But we must be cautious. The Kraith will not sit idly by while we fortify our defenses. They will strike back. And when they do, we must be ready. As predicted, the Kraith launched a series of probing attacks, testing the newly enhanced defenses. Each time, they were met with fierce resistance. The combined human Xylorian forces, now bolstered by the ancient technology, repelled the attacks with relative ease. It became clear that the Kraith would need to change their strategy. One evening, while reviewing intelligence reports, Blake received a message from a reconnaissance team operating deep within Kraith territory. The news was startling. The Kraith were amassing a massive fleet, preparing for a final all-out assault on Xylor. Their goal was to seize the ancient technology or destroy it if they couldn't claim it. Blake called an emergency meeting. We have confirmation that the Kraith are planning a major offensive. This will be their most significant attack yet, and we must be prepared for a battle of unprecedented scale. General Mitchell, always composed, addressed the assembled leaders. We need to use every resource at our disposal. Our best chance is to strike at their fleet before they can launch their assault. We must disrupt their preparations and force them into a defensive position. Varen agreed. A preemptive strike could catch them off guard. We have the technology and the means. Let's use it to our advantage. A daring plan was formulated. The combined forces would launch a surprise attack on the Kraith staging area, using their newly acquired technology to cripple the enemy fleet before it could launch. The mission was risky, but the potential rewards outweighed the dangers. The fleet, a mix of human and Xylorian ships, set out under the cover of night. Their destination was a heavily fortified Kraith stronghold located in a distant sector. As they approached, the tension on board was palpable. This operation would determine the future of both their worlds. Captain Blake led the strike force, his ship at the forefront. All units prepare for engagement, he commanded. Remember, our objective is to disable their fleet, focus on their command ships and key infrastructure. As they neared the target, the fleet activated their advanced cloaking technology, rendering them nearly invisible to Kraith sensors. The element of surprise was on their side. With a sudden burst of coordinated action, the human Xylorian fleet launched their attack. Advanced energy weapons and precision-guided missiles struck the Kraith ships, causing massive explosions and widespread chaos. The Kraith, caught completely off guard, scrambled to respond. Blake's ship led the charge, targeting the main command ship of the Kraith fleet. Fire all weapons, he ordered. Beams of concentrated energy lanced through space, striking the Kraith vessel with devastating force. The command ship, a critical node in the Kraith's coordination network, erupted in flames and debris. On the ground, Xylorian commando teams infiltrated key facilities, planting explosives and sabotaging critical systems. The coordinated strike created confusion and disarray among the Kraith ranks. Despite their initial success, the battle was far from over. The Kraith, though reeling from the surprise attack, 
began to mount a fierce counteroffensive. Their ships, larger and more heavily armed, returned fire with ferocity. Blake's ship took a direct hit, causing a hull breach. Damage control report, he shouted over the blaring alarms. We've sustained heavy damage, but we're still operational, his engineer replied. Blake knew they couldn't afford to retreat. Hold the line. We must keep the pressure on them. Varen's voice came through the comms. Captain, our ground teams have secured the main reactor. We can cause a chain reaction that will disable the entire facility, but we need more time. Do it, Blake responded. We'll cover you. The fleet redoubled their efforts, engaging the Kraith with renewed vigor. The combined firepower of human and Xylorian ships proved formidable, gradually turning the tide of battle. Finally, Varen's voice came through again, triumphant. The charges are set. Get clear of the facility. Blake issued the order. All units, fall back to safe distance. As the fleet retreated, a massive explosion rocked the Kraith stronghold. The chain reaction caused by the destruction of the main reactor sent shockwaves through space, disabling the remaining Kraith ships and infrastructure. The battle was won. The Kraith fleet was in ruins, their plans for an all-out assault thwarted. The humans and Xylorians had not only struck a decisive blow, but had also gained a much-needed reprieve. Back on Xylor, the celebrations were tempered by the knowledge that the war was not yet over. But the success of the mission had proven the strength of their alliance and the power of their combined efforts. Blake and Varen stood together, reflecting on the victory. This is a significant step forward, Blake said. But we must stay vigilant. The Kraith will recover and they will come again. Varen nodded. With our new technology and the bond we forged, we can face whatever comes next. Together we are stronger than ever. The Alliance had weathered its greatest test yet, emerging victorious and more united. As they prepared for the next phase of their struggle, both humans and Xylorians knew that their combined strength would be the key to securing their future. The defeat of the Kraith fleet brought a brief but much-needed respite for the humans and Xylorians. With the enemy temporarily on the back foot, it was time to consolidate their gains and prepare for the final push to end the Kraith threat once and for all. Captain Ryan Blake and Counselor Varen convened a meeting with their top military and scientific advisors. We've dealt a significant blow to the Kraith, Blake began, but we can't afford to let our guard down. We need to strike at their homeworld to ensure they can't regroup and retaliate. Dr. Lang, who had been analyzing the data from their recent victories, presented his findings. Our intelligence indicates that the Kraith's primary power source and central command are located deep within their home planet. If we can disable their power grid and neutralize their leadership, we can cripple their war effort. Varen agreed. It will be a dangerous mission, but it could end the war. We must act swiftly and decisively. A plan was formulated to launch a two-pronged assault. One team would infiltrate the Kraith homeworld to disable their power grid, while the main fleet would engage the Kraith defenses, providing cover and support. The combined human Xylorian fleet set course for the Kraith homeworld. As they approached, they encountered fierce resistance. Kraith ships swarmed to intercept, but the upgraded defenses and advanced technology of the Allied fleet held strong. Blake led the main assault, coordinating the fleet's movements and ensuring their forces remained cohesive. Keep formation tight, he ordered. Focus fire on their capital ships. We need to clear a path for the infiltration team. Meanwhile, Varen led the infiltration team, which consisted of elite human and Xylorian soldiers. They utilized stealth technology to penetrate the heavily guarded surface of the Kraith homeworld. Navigating through the treacherous terrain, they made their way to the primary power grid. Inside the facility, the team encountered heavy resistance. Kraith soldiers, well aware of the significance of their mission, fought fiercely to protect their power source. The battle was intense, but the combined skills and tactics of the human and Xylorian soldiers gradually pushed the defenders back, Dr. Lang, who had accompanied the team, worked frantically to disable the power grid. We need to shut down these reactors simultaneously, he instructed. It's the only way to ensure a complete blackout. As the fighting continued, Blake's voice crackled over the comms. Varen, we're holding the line up here, but we can't keep this up indefinitely. How much longer? Almost there, Varen replied. Just a few more minutes. Finally, with a surge of effort, Dr. Lang and the engineers managed to disable the reactors. The power grid shut down plunging the Kraith homeworld into darkness. The sudden loss of power disrupted their communications and defenses, throwing their forces into disarray. Blake seized the opportunity. All units, advance! Press the attack while they're vulnerable! The Allied fleet pushed forward, breaking through the Kraith defenses and targeting key installations. The Kraith, unable to coordinate effectively, began to fall back in disarray. Back on the ground, Varen's team secured the power grid facility, ensuring it couldn't be reactivated. 
Mission accomplished, he reported. The Kraith are crippled. With their homeworld's defenses shattered and their command structure in chaos, the Kraith had no choice but to surrender. The war that had ravaged the galaxy was finally over. In the aftermath of the victory, celebrations erupted across Xylor and Earth. The bond between humans and Xylorians had been forged in the crucible of war and had emerged unbreakable. Together, they had not only defended their worlds, but had also laid the foundation for a future of peace and cooperation. In a grand ceremony, Blake and Varen stood before a gathered crowd of humans and Xylorians. Today we celebrate our victory, Blake said. But more importantly, we celebrate our unity. Together we have shown that no force in the galaxy can stand against us. Varen continued, This alliance is a beacon of hope for all who cherish peace and freedom. We will rebuild, we will thrive, and we will ensure that the sacrifices made during this war were not in vain. As the ceremony concluded, the leaders of both races signed a formal alliance, pledging to work together for the prosperity and security of their people. The war against the Kraith had ended, but a new era of exploration, cooperation, and mutual growth had just begun. United by their shared experiences and the strength of their alliance, humans and Xylorians looked to the stars with hope and determination, ready to face whatever challenges the future might hold.